Hello friends, this is Jessica with Our Journal Junction and today I'm going to be creating a page in my large dilutions journal. So what you can see here is a page that I've already gessoed and I also took some die cut letters I had made for another project and I glued those down and gessoed over them as well. So I'm creating texture in my background of my page before I begin applying my paints. So I'm using some dilutions paints in a variety of colors. I'll have those down, the names of them down in the description. And I'm just using my finger and applying them sort of like finger paint onto my page. And I'm gently blending them with my finger as I switch from color to color as I'm just creating a very loose background. And I'm going to just keep doing this until my page is completely covered. And there's really no rhyme or reason to where I'm placing these colors. It's just whatever I think looks good as I'm blending it with my finger. I'm adjusting. I'm just doing this very intuitively whatever feels and looks good to me at the time and it is very reminiscent of your childhood because this does go on quite like finger paint so I'm just doing this blending some of the orange into the pink some of the pink into the orange the yellow whatever just happens happens and I'm being careful not to over mix it too much because I do want you to be able to see the distinct blocks of color but yet I want them blended into each other so it doesn't just look like stained glass and choppy. And where it gets around some of those die cut letters that are in the background, the paint doesn't necessarily want to get to the edge. So I'm just putting it a tad bit thicker and rubbing it a little more aggressively in those areas to get that background completely covered and have no little bits of white showing. Like an example of that would be the R down in the lower left corner. You can see that's still showing some white where I didn't have as much paint and it's showing. It's going to show that white. But I'm going to cover that up in a second here so that will be gone. So the colors, I looked for you, the colors I'm using here are bubblegum pink, funky fuchsia, squeezed tangerine, lemon zest, and peony blush. And I do spend quite a bit of time just going back and forth, getting these colors perfectly blended the way I want. This is one of those things that you could take as much time or as little time as you feel. If you're someone who wants to work just very organically and quickly, you could have this done in two minutes if you wanted. If you're someone like me who tends to sit and fuss and blend and, and do things, that's fine too. Because the point of this is the enjoyment of it, not the rush to get seven pages done in ten minutes. So I do take some time until I get it exactly how I want it to look. Because I'm enjoying this. This to me is very relaxing. Sitting and playing with paints and blending and with color. Color is my happy place. So this I could sit and do all day long. And be content with it just doing backgrounds, actually. I love it. It's, it's my favorite. So now I'm using a stencil and a mini blending tool. And I'm just going to put down some layers of paint to sort of blend in yet break up what I've done here in the background. As you can see it's very subtle. And now I'm just going to use another stencil and do the exact same thing. This time using the squeeze tangerine. Or squeeze orange, not squeeze tangerine. Yeah, squeezed orange. And this is a stencil from the Dina Wakely Media line. And now I'm also going to be using uh, the Leafy, which is a Dina Wakely Media. And this paint is Lime something. I can't remember. Again, I'll put this all down in the description so that you know exactly what I used. But now I'm just going to begin creating a little bit of more of a field where I'm going to start doing some of my collage and my elements later. Some of my painting.
So after I give that paint some time to dry, I'm going to use a po white Posca paint pen and I'm just tracing around some of the leaves. And there really is how I'm making the decision of which ones to trace around. I'm making sure they're not next to each other in the design, so a couple leaves apart. But I already broke that rule because now those two are close together. So this is really just what leaves do I think I want to trace around and highlight. And I'm just doing it until I think it looks good. To be honest, most of these get covered up and you don't even see them. But I'm not exactly sure as I'm creating what's going to be covered and what's not. So my rule of thumb is to always just do it, all of it, and then... If it gets covered up, it does. I know it's there. I know the enjoyment I had of creating this. And that's what matters to me. Now I'm using another stencil and Dilusion's Shimmer Mist in Dirty Martini. And now I'm taking some Dina Wakely paints and I'm going to create flowers. Now because the Shimmer Mist is reactive to wet you know materials as I'm painting this with my brush it's reactivating those paints so that's why you're seeing the blue is sort of becoming green and I don't care it doesn't bother me so I just keep on keeping on and so yeah that blue is really not blue anymore is it <laughs> I have green flowers it's okay So I'm just going to create flowers in a very generic, you know, five circles that come together and then I'll put a center on them. And I'm having some of them go off the page, some of them are completely on the page. Thinking about if flowers were falling from the sky, this is how I thought about it when it, my placement. If flowers were falling from the sky, how would they look falling? So as you can see, some of them are overlapping. Some of them are obviously not on the page because if you were to take a snapshot of that, not all of them would be perfectly in frame. So, you know, here's another one going off the right side of the page. That one got really green because there was more of that green ink there. In a way, I kind of like how it mixed with the blue paint because it's creating a very natural flower look because you know not every petal is exactly the same color and I like to do things in odd numbers so in this case there's going to be five flowers so there you have it I have the five flowers done And I'm going back in with some darker blue paint after that has a few minutes to dry just to create some shadowing and some texture in my flower petals. And I'm going from the center out and I'm not blending it so you can still see the paint from behind it. And then I just paint in some leaves. Now this is using Evergreen from the Dina Wakely Media line. Again, links down in the description. And I'm placing the leaves so it looks like some are coming from behind the flowers, some are falling all off the flowers. Very just wherever I think there's an open space that needs a leaf is where I'm putting them. So I work and I do this very quickly and I make the decisions very quickly so that it just is organic and has quick movement and quick and I move on to the next thing. So these leaves I'm just filling in. I look, oh, let's put another one there and I do it. Well, here's one coming out from behind the flower. Great. I stop and assess the page. Oh, there's no green paint over there. Okay, put a leaf. 
and that's what I'm doing in between each each leaf. I am pausing and saying, okay, where where should I put one? Where looks what looks empty? Oh, you know, here's a leaf. There's no you know green paint on the top of the page. There, oh, let's have a leaf coming out of another invisible flower. And I just keep doing that until I think, okay, I have enough. This is good. And now I'm using a white Posca paint pen to trace a on the outside of all of the petals. And I'm going to do that for all the flowers. It should be noted that I gave this paint quite a bit of time to dry before I started doing this part. The paint has to be dry before you bring in your paint pens or any sort of marker or you are guaranteed to ruin them. But now that I've outlined all of my flowers, I'm just going to fill them, fill in the petals with different kinds of doodles for each flower. Now I'm going to make each flower unique by giving it its own doodle style. So this one is having I don't really know what you'd call that bumpy lines, I guess. It's like a never ending M, but made into a chain. I don't know if there's a name for that, but that's what I'm doing on all these petals. And then I filled in the center with dots. Some have lines, some have little flowers themselves, some have circles. And after I get that all done, I'm taking some purple paint and filling in the center of the flowers to give them a center. And give that time to dry. And after that is the time to dry, I'm putting down some Distress Collage Medium and taking some purple craft thread and I'm going to begin making coils. Now that means I started in the very center with the end of the thread and then I'm just wrapping it around and around and around and around and around until I have the center of the flower filled in. So I'm not really wanting that purple paint to show. In the end, this coiled cotton thread is what I want to have the center of the flower be. And I just keep going very carefully around the outside until I have the circle to the size that I want. And then I will just trim the end with my scissors and push the end in with a little extra glue. You can see here, snip. and then I will tuck the end in with a little extra glue to hold it. Perfect. And I will repeat this step for all five of the flowers. Of course only four of them have centers that are showing. And while that's drying I'm going to add some detail to my leaves using a dark green paint mixture that I created. A little bit of evergreen olive and night paint. And then I'm just putting a line through the center of each leaf and some little lines off the so one of the sides to create some texture in the leaf. And I'll do that for all of them. Now my leaves are not all exactly the same. Some of them have thick lines off of the one side, some are very wispy and light. Every leaf is a little bit different because in nature every leaf is a little bit different. So I'm not concerned about making these all uniform. I'm going for more of a, a natural, loose, whimsy look versus a uniform illustrated look. Because this is how it looks like in nature, right? Nothing is exactly the same or uniform in nature. And then I'm going to take some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Dirty Bronze and I'm just going to place those randomly on the page. Fill in some of the empty space.
And then I'm going to write my quote. Be brave. Now I'm using this, a pencil first to write out the letters. So I like the placement and how they look, the size. And then I'm going to trace this with black food a ball pen so that it's exactly how I want it to be to make them thicker as you can see there. Thank you so much for watching and taking some time out of your day to spend with me as I create this page. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos and exciting releases. Have a wonderful day.